Hello, it's Brooke Sydney here. Welcome to my channel where I talk all things mindset and manifestation. Today I'm answering the question of how long will it take for my manifestation to get here? I love to talk about it. It's one of my favorite things, especially if I can help you speed up your manifestation. But before we do that, I just want to remind you, for those of you that are interested in working with me, there are two ways to work with me. Both of that information is listed below, as well as two communities of amazing individuals that are also on this manifestation journey. That information is also listed below. So today we are answering the question around how long is it going to take for your manifestation to appear? And for this conversation, I want to like premise it or set the premise that we're talking about like our bigger things that we're trying to manifest, like not the easy things that, you know, we've been able to quickly um, come across, right? Because I don't think that's what people are asking me the question about, like, you know, things that you are already have a natural assumption or a dominant state or the self-concept that matches up with it. No, we're talking about the things that have been a little bit more difficult to manifest and bring in and see for yourself in your 3D reality. So that could be a relationship, that could be more money. Um, for some people, it could even be like greater health or better health. Whatever it is, it's something that um, is not coming easily to you. So whether we are talking about money, health, any of these bigger manifestations, the length of time for you to manifest what you desire is essentially equal to the time that you become kind of a match or you become the person who has the thing that you want, who feels like it is done that you have it. That's the feeling is the secret. Your entire inner world, your entire inner self, your self-concept, your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs, they all come to the place and come to that point where you feel like you have it. It is done. It is yours. It's inevitable that it shows up. You have that inner feeling of certainty. You're not sitting around anymore and doubting and wondering or even complaining about the fact that you don't have it. You're not focusing on the 3D that it doesn't have it yet. You're not sitting there in that lack space. Instead, you are content, you are sure, you have a feeling of certainty and knowing this and you resonate with the idea that it is yours, it is done, it is finished. And for those of you that are like, how do I get to that point? That's where we've been discussing all the things from the inner conversations and imaginal acts that really help you to kind of saturate your mind, to be able for you to see it inside of your 40 and your imagination so that you can then out picture it in your 3D. One of the coolest things that happens, I feel like when we get to that place and our manifestation is here, oftentimes, I don't care what it is, you will see remnants or hear remnants, I feel like, of the things that you were thinking and talking about. Sometimes it happens in birds before land, like with, especially with like people or even jobs. I've seen it come through with things that weren't quite the right fit or other offers or other contracts, stuff like that, or with people telling you the things that you want your specific person to say. But when your mind, your inner self becomes so saturated and conditioned because you've started to create that natural assumption that you feel it as real, you are so into it, it seems as real as the 3D, Woo! that's when you are entering that inner place, that conviction, that self-concept, that state of being, that state of consciousness. And I feel like dominant set point, if that makes sense, like that's your fallback thought position is like, I have this. I have this, it's on its way. I know that I have it, I know that it is mine. And when those two, like not even two, when all of these things come together, it's yours, it is done, it is finished. That's why we can truly change our minds. We can decide, and I talked about that in, that, in this video recently. When your natural assumption and your dominant way of thinking and being 
line up to your manifestation, it's here. The time has collapsed. Time is also, in many respects, a fiction. It's, it's here on this 3D plane, but it doesn't exist everywhere. And so you can collapse timelines and jump timelines the moment you decide it is yours or the moment you feel. That's the whole feeling part. You feel like it's yours. You know it's yours. Um, and I also did a video on how you know your manifestation is coming. I'll tag that as well. But it's all about creating that inner experience of knowing you have it and being the person and having the self-concept of the person who has your desire, who has that relationship, who knows that they're loved, knows that they're chosen, know that they're committed to, or has that job, knows that they're the greatest person for that position, knows that they're going to do well, knows that that's where they're supposed to be. When all of that comes together, that's when your manifestation will appear. It is my hope that this has been helpful for you. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and turn on your notification bell because I drop videos daily, and I will see you tomorrow.